Our new Asset Management in Europe report was published today. This is already the 14th edition of the report, which focuses on where assets are managed in Europe. This is in opposition to some of our other reports, which focus on the country of domiciliation. Assets under management in Europe, or AUM, rose steadily until the end of 2021 to 32.3 uh, trillion euros. In 2022, because of the war in Ukraine, rising inflation rates and a general worsening of the economic outlook, we project a decline of 12% by the end of September 2022. Um, Assets under management can be divided in two main segments, investment funds, which are USITs and alternative investment funds, and discretionary mandates. These are specific mandates given by an individual investor to an asset manager to manage their funds. Uh, the discretionary part means that the investor gives the authority to the asset managers to do investments on his behalf. The share of investment funds increased over the years, rising to 56.6% at the end of 2021. Uh, this increase in market share is due to the asset allocation of, of the two segments, where equity, listed equity, has a higher market share in investment funds than in discretionary mandates. And this is combined with the rise in stock markets uh, results in this rising uh, market share. In terms of clients, um, institutional clients remain the main clients of the industry. They, are, they account for 72% uh, uh, of the industry. These are mainly insurers, pension funds, and other institutionals such as charities and uh, holding companies. In 2021, though, we saw an increase of the share of uh, retail clients because European households regained their appetite for capital market instruments. Also, the share of foreign clients has been steadily rising in recent years. This is in line with one of the key goals of the EU's capital markets project, which is integrating national capital markets into a genuine European capital market. Our report has an extensive and new section on ESG and asset management. One of the key findings there is that we, we have amounts for sustainable usage bonds, bond funds and sustainable equity funds. Sustainable bond funds uh, amounted to uh, 340 billion by end September 2021, which is about a 13% market share in the total usage bond market. Sustainable equity funds rose to 1.1 trillion, which is about a 27% um, market share in the usage equity market. Another feature in our ESG section are concrete examples on how asset managers use ESG in their sovereign debt analysis and how they, use, uh, green, how they use green bonds to finance green projects. All of this and more can be found in our asset management report out today.